We're doing the assignment on the transformation of absolute value. Uh, what I've done is I already graphed the parent function. Now we're going to go ahead and graph uh, the new function. Of course, you want to make a table, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a table, x and y here. So I'm going to go to the calculator. And I'm going to go ahead and type it in. I want to make sure that I do type it in correctly. In the last video, I typed in something wrong. So I have x <clears throat> plus 4. And now we're going to look at the table. Some of you ask me, where do you start? Uh, you always look at your graph. And your graph tells you more or less where to start. And we're going to probably start at negative 4. Uh, let's go a little bit more negative to the left, negative 6. So when x, when x is negative 6, we have y that is 2. When x is negative 5, we have y that's 1. When x is negative 4, it's going to be 0, negative 3. 1, negative 2, 2, so I'm going to go ahead and graph that, so I go negative 6, 1, 2, negative 5, 1, negative 4, 0, negative 3, 1, negative 2, uh, 2, negative 3, negative 2, 2, negative 1, it's going to be 3, at 0, it's going to be 4, and I'm going to go ahead and graph the function. You have to describe the transformation. The graph uh, will move or shift to the left 4 units. The graph will shift four units to the left. I'm doing number four. Uh, we have y equals three times the absolute value of x. So I'm going to go to y equals three math number absolute value of x. And then I'm going to go ahead and look at my table. I'm going to start at negative 3, negative 3, 9, negative 2, um, 6, negative 1, 3, 0, 0. So I have 0, 0, uh, negative 1. 3, negative 2, 6, 1, 3, 2, 6, 2, 6. and the graph uh, gets narrower, okay? The graph is narrow compared to the parent function. Okay, thank you.